As we come to the end of the World Antimicrobial Awareness Week, we are just at the start of our efforts to urgently address this silent pandemic. For a second year in a row, World Antimicrobial Awareness Week takes place amidst a crisis that is occupying the entire world. While we continue to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic, we must not forget that we are facing another substantial but currently more hidden pandemic, antimicrobial resistance AMR. Antimicrobials, which include antibiotics, are the basis of many innovative treatments. However, antimicrobials are being misused and overused in human health, animal health, agriculture and the environment, the so-called One Health sectors. This is leading to an increase in AMR worldwide. This means that pathogens are resistant for ineffective to treatment with certain antimicrobials. So what does that actually look like for our lives? A simple operation could lead to a drug-resistant infection that is difficult or perhaps impossible to treat. The medicines that we have come to rely on in our modern world are under threat. This is not just a forecast. Even today, according to conservative estimates, there are about 700,000 annual deaths worldwide as a result of infections with resistant pathogens. These numbers are likely significantly underestimated and the annual death toll continues to rise. Currently, the world is experiencing the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic in all areas of our lives. At the same time, we are also facing a climate crisis and future pandemics. But we have the knowledge and the means to fight AMR, this pandemic, effectively. What is needed is the prevention of infection through access to clean water and sanitation, good medical diagnostics and equitable access to antimicrobials worldwide is essential so that people can access the right antimicrobials when they need them. Education and strong health systems that everyone can access and effective preventative public health interventions at the community level are key elements. We need good and integrated surveillance system in all One Health sectors, locally, nationally and globally, to inform an effective response. And finally, countries require national action plans to provide a vision and framework for these efforts, aligned with the WSO's Global Action Plan. As President of the National Public Health Institute of Germany and as a member of the Global Leaders Group for Antimicrobial Resistance, I am committed to working with all of you to make sure that antimicrobials remain effective for everyone when we need them. Let us all do our part now to stop AMR.